It's here on your afternoon show. Kevin Cole with you on KEXP, Where the Music Matters. I'm down in the performance space with Daniel Norgren, who's playing tonight at the Neptune. Daniel and band, welcome to KEXP. Thanks. It's great having you here. Uh, just, nice uh, to be here. Saw a couple of amazing sets two years ago and uh, at Pickathon, and I've just so looked forward to uh, to having you here on the show. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Cool. Do you uh, do you want to uh, launch into a couple songs, and then we can chat a bit about the uh, about the album Wu Dang? Sure. Cool. First, I would like to introduce my band. On double bass, we have Anders Geron, Breda Redsvarian. Hands up for Anders Geron. And uh, by the drums, we have Erik Bansson, Jette uh, Borsvarien. Uh, guitar, we have Andreas Philipsson, Fristavarien. Okay, we're going to play a song called The Flow. Great, welcome. <clears throat>
Daniel Norgren and band live on KEXP here. Really great couple songs there to start the set. Uh, that, that last song, for me at least, a, a song of appreciation and gratitude. And uh, the song title kind of says it all. The Day That's Just Begun. That is from Wu Dang, the brand new album. And then right before that, a song called The Flow. In it, uh, the line, uh, skin and bones a long way from home. And uh, Daniel, you guys are certainly a long way from home right now. Yeah, we are. We're from Sweden. Yeah, so you're... It's half around the globe. Southwest Sweden, right? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec, but the new album, Wu Dang, uh, came out in April to your eighth album overall. This was the first one that had a worldwide release uh, at the time it came out. Yeah. Um, We've released a, a, a few records before, but never this big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to know because you, you've put out like eight albums or so, and you know, just over a decade, mm. uh, and that's that's a lot of records. Uh, this one being sort of the first with a simultaneous international release. Did that feel, or does it feel different to you? And well, I would say no. It, it's just a record, uh, and where it ends up, that's that's pretty much um, that's out of my hands. Yeah. For uh, you know, uh, making a record, producing a record, recording everything, writing songs. That's it's still the same. Yeah, but but there's a business side too that um, you you have your own label label. Yeah. Uh, Super Puma Records. Um, does, uh, you know, just thinking about the the distribution side and all that. Uh, um, of course, there's a lot of work if you, if you want to spread the word. If you want to spread the gospel over here or in Asia or uh, Australia, it, it, it acquires a lot more effort. So to speak, but when it comes to the pr production of the record, it's just the same. Uh, afterwards, uh, we have a lot of, we have people who uh, who can who can help us out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's a cool approach. Just uh, you know, you can control the music and you can put everything, your heart and soul, into the music and then let it go and hope hope it connects. Connect. So. Um, you know, in your music, uh, you often explore themes of nature and that you've said songs uh, come to you naturally when you are outdoors. In nature. Yes. That's and, where it comes naturally. Yeah, and, and you have literally said, and I love this, that songs on the new record at least came from literally walking down this certain trail. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, is, this a, is this a trail like outside your house, near your house? Uh, yeah. It is. It's a trail. It's a trail just outside my house. Um, a very beautiful trail with a little mill, worn down flour mill up in the woods. Yeah. And the songs, they, they pop up like you know, mushrooms. Um, you know, you can go to the same place and if, if, if you're there one day, you can find one song. Two weeks later, at the same place, another one pops up. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, that sounds like an incredible source of inspiration. And uh, in terms of the pri uh, the process of writing, um, do you have any tools with you? Do you take notebooks? Do you bring a guitar with you? Or I usually have my uh, my phone just uh, to write down if I get an idea. You yeah. know, scribble down. I've tried book with a pen. But it feels too pretentious. Like, okay, I'm gonna go out and find a song in the woods with, <laughs> with my book and my pen. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I bring a, a portable recording studio, mm -hmm. uh, depending on what time of the year it is. Uh, like in the spring, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for for the sound of spring and birds in 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 the mornings. So I, I cannot resist. I used to bring uh, something to record that, and I add that into the songs. 
Like I, literally uh, take the sound recordings, the field recordings, and work those into the mix? Yeah. It's like a texture. It gives a texture uh, to the songs. Yeah. And sometimes you can do it like you can put a nice sound or environmental sound in between songs. And the, 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 bo- the songs, they, they, they turn out like so differently from if you would have not done that. Yeah. Um, it's like when you have a white paper. Uh, inst- if, you, if you have a, a stained paper instead of a white paper, white paper to draw it. You know, you can you can go with a with the stains. Yeah. yeah, I like stains. Yeah, it might have the exact same words. If it's not words. in hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that 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 is good. And texture is a good way to describe your music too. Uh, I love how the new uh, new album uh, starts with "Blue Sky Moon," which is kind of a I don't know, it just sets a tone. It's 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 an instrumental record, and it goes into the flow, which takes a while to get to. Uh, get the flow of that song going too. Yeah, um, and it's just a cool, beautiful, uh, textural way. It's it's actually recorded on that trail specifically. Really? Yeah, physically, we brought an organ up on a hill. Me and my friend Pelle, mm-hmm. who actually owns the label, so we brought the, an organ and we um, we recorded the organ and the woods. It sounds very new agey, but <laughs> such a <laughs> Such a trip. Yeah, it sounds great. And sounds like a workout if you're bringing an organ up through yeah, the Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's true. Um, well, tell me a, a little more just what you think about the relationship between not just your music, but uh, music and nature in general. Music and nature. Well, I, I, uh, that's a good question. I just love being in the nature around natural things. I love being around natural people. I love being around animals and children and nature. Um, so, and that kind of evokes uh, 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 a thing in me. Mm-hmm. It makes everything so much easier and more naturally. You know, uh, if if I wanna if I wanna write a song, I've tried to write songs in cities. I cannot do that. Well, I was going to ask about that because um, you you tour a lot. And, yeah, and and you've toured a lot uh, over like the la- like quite a while, and you have eight albums out in twelve years, so that's not a lot of time to spend in nature necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we we actually talked about it before. If uh, because I haven't r- I haven't written one word uh, under the influence of any sort of substances, or uh, you know, uh, if I haven't been at home. Yeah, I need to be one hundred percent sober in my home. That's where where I can write songs. That's right. how I work. Um, other than that, I, I've tried, but they, they just lie to me. Yeah, the songs afterwards. Um, once, uh, well, you write the songs. Uh, the the uh, the new album you recorded in a textile farmhouse near your home. Um, tell me about that space and how important. Uh, creating a, a certain kind of environment is in recording? Uh, um, it's not a, an original thing to move out in a house yeah. when you're a band and you want to record music. Uh, analog, of course, analogously or <laughs> what it's called. Yeah, analog. Uh, um, but we did it, and we found that, you know, that core where we, uh, like, it's a romantic picture in my book. Afterwards, when I'm thinking about it, it's like, this is how we should do it. No cheating. Everything in one room. No, uh, no cheating. And, uh, and the, the, the scenery and the setting, the house was so beautiful we had it was the perfect time of the year fall so we had the the house this big white house it sounds like the big pink you know and we referred to the house as the big white because (laughs) it was a big white house but around the house there were like the the most beautiful 
maple trees you you know i can i can, i cannot even describe how beautiful it was because it's such such a beautiful setting and if you're in that room recording with a sunset or sunrise coming in through the the golden maple trees yeah they're changing colors it changes yeah and also uh, instead of being locked in, in inside a studio without windows and no fresh air and just cables and old coffee and you know cigarette bumps uh, it's a big difference from being in that house so we wanted to, to uh, keep everything as naturally and natural as we could and it just went with the flow it sounds idyllic um, one, of, one of the reasons I asked was, you know, I have the sense of you writing these songs somewhat in isolation in nature along this trail, and then, um, and then going from that uh, inspiration or that, uh, that kind of arrangement or moment to bringing it to Anders and Eric and Andreas and, and then um, recording. Uh, but there's a, a very natural... Uh, uh, or a, a cool vibe, you can feel it, you know, between the band. You can, and when you see, you know you guys what, live, we're old friends. That's that's a key. Uh, no one is replaceable in this band. You know, we're we're friends from many years, so we're not a band like let's let's uh, let's uh, find some people and you know yeah. do this. It, it's just it's uh, it's naturally. Uh, grown it's a it's a it's a friendship so um that's one of the the, the keys yeah uh well it, it totally works and you can feel that thanks uh, it's daniel norgren that live here on kexp uh, playing tonight at the neptune and tomorrow in portland at revolution hall and uh, the new album is wudang and um loving the album uh what do you have next for us this one is called Music Tape. Uh, it's um, it's about it's a song about mowing the lawn. <laughs>
mowed the lawn with his lawn mower. In a week or two, the grass will be tall again. Within a week or two, the grass will be tall again. I played the tape in my old black book. In my old black I sat there for a while
Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thanks. It's Daniel Norgren live here on KEXP. Music tape, the track, that one uh, going back to 2013's Buck release. And playing tonight at the Neptune Theater, tomorrow night, Revolution Hall in Portland, then heading down to L.A. Got time for one more song? Yeah, sure. Great. This one is called Why May I Not Go Out and Climb the Trees? Go out and climb the trees, Daniel Norgren Band. That is from uh, Alabersi from 2015. And, uh, and great set there. Music tape before that and a couple from the new album, Wu Dang. And uh, it's Daniel, Anders, Eric, and Andreas. And uh, longtime friends making music together. And you can tell. You can feel it. Thank you so much. Thanks. I, uh, I love that you, uh, you aren't wearing headphones either. No. It's, it's unusual. I, uh, they tend to uh, take away the feeling, yeah. the room. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. And then when you record, you... Uh, you we don't use headphones. Yeah, you mentioned They're you're all in the room together. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? They don't look good. I'm the only one wearing them, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. You look good. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for, uh, for taking time to play on, the, on KXP today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, and uh, good luck on the road and on the rest of the tour, and 
and getting back home to write some more music. So Daniel and I are going to play tonight at, uh, at the Neptune Theater, then in uh, Portland tomorrow at uh, Revolution Hall. Uh, thanks again. Big time thanks to the KEXP audiovisual team and to Kelsey Brannon and the volunteers and everybody listening. And uh, thanks to all of you who donate to KEXP making sessions like, uh, like today's session with Daniel and Argren possible. It's KEXP where the music matters. Discover great music at kexp.org.